NEA Big Read is a program of the National Endowment for the Arts in partnership with Arts Midwest. Local sponsorship is provided by the Muskogee County Friends of Libraries. the enduring tale of one man's journey home, brought with danger, despair, and death. Recently chosen as the BBC's number one greatest story told of all time, this classic is more prevalent in modern day than you might at first realize. Countless movies, TV shows, books, even songs have recounted the tale or made reference to its verses and yet even more take inspiration from its themes. While there are numerous adaptations of the Odyssey for TV, such as the 1997 miniseries, there have been several homages in popular films. Believe it or not, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and more directly the film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, are both homages to the Odyssey. One primarily for children and one for adults, such as the universality of his tale. In Spongebob and in Homer's epic, both our heroes face Cyclopses, receive a gift of a bag of wind to propel them on their travels, and receive assistance from a deity. While in O oh Brother, Where Art Thou, three escaped convicts who serve as our protagonists encounter sirens, just as Odysseus famously did in his adventure. Television has also been inspired by Odysseus's journey home. The Simpsons spoofs the plot of the Odyssey in its protagonist Homer Simpson, probably named after the famous poet as well, in the role of Odysseus in its episode, Tales from Public Domain. The 1995 hit television show Xena, a loose interpretation of Greco-Roman mythology in itself, had an episode entitled Ulysses, the Romanized version of Odysseus, who featured the character on his quest. Title character Xena and her companions had to help the wayward hero on his journey home, much like in the original myth. Books are yet another storytelling medium where Odysseus's influence is felt. Most notably, Margaret Atwood's novel, The Penelope Ad, is a retelling of the Odyssey through Odysseus's wife, Penelope's point of view. While Penelope was absent from most of the adventures and action of the Odyssey, she has a very interesting story to tell as well. In Penelope's narrative, Margaret Atwood tells how Penelope, cunning just like her husband, warded off her suitors, believing Odysseus to be dead, with her wits. Even children's literature takes from the Odyssey sometimes. Most notably, Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series features quests, which are almost always an Odyssey-type narrative. Not only that, but characters from the epic find their way into his stories as well. In Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, our heroes visit the Lotus Casino, which, if you remember in the Odyssey the Lotus Eaters, it's very similar. Once our heroes encounter this casino and they eat the food therein, this magical place keeps them there, so they never want to leave. And then also, in the second Percy Jackson book, Sea of Monsters, our heroes encountered the Cyclops Polyphemus, who most notably was blinded by Odysseus in his journey. Two more tales that credit the Odyssey are Cold Mountain by Charles Frazier, a war narrative about a journey home across harsh landscapes, and Ulysses by James Joyce, the story of an Irish itinerant and his letters home. Its characters have also been reimagined and placed within the world of modern writers. Circe herself has inspired countless authors from Madeline Miller to George R.R. R. Martin. Martin's infamous Lannister Circe shares a name with the immortal witch and many of her less admirable qualities. She is cunning and vengeful, not unlike the Odyssey's character. J.K. Rowling also snuck in her own reference to Circe 
in her novel Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone for us Americans. Within the first book, you see a famous Witches and Wizards chocolate frog card with the name Circe on it. Even comics have been known to borrow from mythology and Homer from time to time. DC's Wonder Woman villain, Circe, shares a name with our sea witch as well. Also of note, a chess variation is named after Circe. In this 1968 rule, captured pieces are reborn in their starting position. The Odyssey has had a long-reaching and dynamic impact on storytelling and entertainment. Any story told today that features a quest and a journey home, from Lord of the Rings to Spirited Away, owes its structure to Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey.